Hello, and welcome back to another webinar for your Hydra EMS 2.7. Uh, today we're going to cover some, uh, some neat things you can do with uh, an auxiliary input and data logging. So let's say you want to data log something, but you don't want to have your laptop plugged in. Um, let's say uh, you're on track, you're going to go out for a few laps, um, and you want to record the data in high definition. <clears throat> uh, you can do this with the Hydra without your laptop connected and then upload it later. Of course, depending on the sampling rate, that will uh, limit how much data you can actually record. Um, let's, uh, let's begin. Uh, begin by opening up your Hydra software. This is the uh, base Hydra software here. And this is the beginning uh, of the process. So let me go ahead and I'll show you what to do uh, in the software and uh, where to go in your uh, in your hydra as well so uh, first thing uh, we want to do here is go to settings go to input request types and then go uh, I'm using auxiliary port port 7 for my data log low request what a low request is is when the hydra voltage is pulled to ground so uh, all you need is a, a switch from the hydra auxiliary port 7 to the uh, to the switch and then to the ground and uh, I will uh, show you which port uh, is auxiliary port 7 um, it is going to be on the big blue connector on the big blue side and it's going to be number 6 and uh, auxiliary port 8 is number 7 uh, I'll show you where those are in just a moment so we want to set this up for data log low request and hit apply and hit OK um, now let's go up to our data logger here. I'm going to go to show. So I'm connected to the to the vehicle right now. Uh, you can see my air fuel ratio jumping around. Um, the current log here is just my coolant temperature. Car's been off. Car is off. It's about 88 degrees today. It's sunny Southern California. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, just to show you that uh, it's really simple and that it works, is I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. So uh, it's everything is cleared out. And uh, you know we've cleared all the data logging off the um, off the Hydra, so it's not been data logging at all. Uh, then uh, what we're going to do is just to just to show you that it works. I have already mine plugged in, um, so I'm going to disconnect from the Hydra. So now let's just pretend this is you know your regular uh, regular event. Maybe you're doing uh, an auto class, and uh, all you have to do once you have your switch wired up is uh, flip the switch and uh, the data logging will begin at whatever uh, Hertz sampling rate you've selected uh, with your software under the parameters that you've also selected with your software so whatever you had up on your laptop that's what's going to be recording when the data log request uh, low is active all right go ahead and turn off my switch and uh, Connect here. Okay, so we're connecting to the Hydra again, and you see there's a little blue area. Okay, that means uh, while we were talking, we were daily recording. Then I go to upload, and there's our coolant temperature again. So it's uh, it's pretty neat stuff. Um, you can use it to data record without a laptop in your car for your review later. Go over to Excel here. So the one I used uh, was BC06 is auxiliary 7 and BC07 uh, is auxiliary 8. And uh, BC is that big clip, uh, big clip uh, on the top. Um, BD is where your uh, tachometer is, so it's going to be opposite that. Big blue clip, and then the blue clip on that on that one, and that'll also show you which side is one and which side is twelve. So uh, back to the hydra here, and we'll go ahead and clear that out. So that is how to do uh, remote data logging uh, with a switch. Uh, just go ahead, and uh, I'll take some pictures after this and uh, post them up as well uh, with the webinar. All you have to do is uh, use one of the hydropins. Thank you very much.